Welcome to our next installment in our tea time together. I have my tea. And I'm in this happy new little nook in my office. And you would think, based upon the fact that I keep moving to different spots for <laughs> these recordings, like trying different places out to see what I like best in the background, that I have uh, this really big office and I don't. It's not like the corner suite or anything. It's actually pretty small. But um, I do have a little bit of room to, uh, room to maneuver and um, I kind of like it over here. It feels like cozy. It feels like a good spot to have tea in. It's not like right by my computer. This is where like somebody could sit if they were talking to me. And I like it. So I think I might be over here multiple uh, on multiple recordings. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but this morning I had a super long meeting. And so I am very glad to be settling in with my teacup, which is almost empty because I was drinking it during the meeting. And clearly I need to brew more. But I was looking forward to talking to all of you. And I hope that you all feel the same way about these recordings as I do, which is that I feel like I'm really talking to you. And I know that it's, I mean, I'm talking to you as well when I write, but this is different. And I just, I really like the um, more interactive experience, I guess, that I'm feeling, at least on my end. And I hope that you all feel that too. But what I wanted to talk about this week was librarianship, because it's been on my mind a little bit. Um, I've been a librarian now for just over 10 years. And my job is changing a little bit, and it's not my first career. Librarianship is my second career. And so I thought, you know, I was just thinking about how I wound up here and where I want to go. And I know that there are other librarians that read this blog, like Cindy, for sure, is a librarian. And I'm, oh, I know that there are others. So if you're also a librarian, I'm hoping that you will write in this week and tell me about your experience in librarianship and where, what kind of librarian you are and where you're kind of hoping to go or have been with your, um, with your role within the field. So let's talk about librarian stuff this week. So like I mentioned, uh, librarianship is my second career and I was an attorney prior to being a librarian and I think we can just sum that up by saying that I really didn't like it very much. I, uh, I enjoyed legal research and writing but I didn't feel like being a practicing attorney was really a very good fit with my kind of quieter, more introverted personality. So when I was, um, before I was married, you know, I was still in my 20s, and so I decided to go back to school and just, you know, I was older at that point so I could really you know, have a good discussion with myself about my own strengths and weaknesses and um, how I could best apply those uh, in a job. <clears throat> and so that's what I did. And I was looking at, you know, various graduate programs and I was kind of thinking like maybe I would do something so with my law degree, um, you know, like uh, working for a legal publication or a legal publisher or something like that, I don't know. But um, I, you know, caught my eye that there was this graduate program in library science that was local to me. And I really didn't want to go anywhere, you know, my family's here in Western New York and I like it here and um, so I thought, yeah, I want to find something, you know, I'm lucky enough to live near a large state university, which is actually where I work now. Um, there's a lot of graduate programs, so I had a lot to choose from while still staying local. And so that's what I decided to, to pursue, and I'm so glad that I did. You know, it was a good choice for me. When I think about, you know, why I became a librarian, I think, well, you know, when I was a kid, I loved to be in libraries. Um, growing up, I was in our public library a lot to do research for my school projects, and I just remember that our local public library was small. It was in this older, really cute building. It had a cat. <laughs> and, you know, the old-fashioned card catalogs. And I just loved being in there. I loved the feeling of just being inside with all the books. It was nice and quiet in there. And I'm a quiet person. <laughs> I like to be around other quiet things. And, um, you know, I liked to be around people who were reading and studying. And libraries to me just hold, it's, it's like you're young all the time when you're in a library because libraries hold so much promise to me with all the, um, the books, whether they be in print or electronic form. There's just so much possibility there and potential because there's so much that you can learn and then go off and do and all these exciting new ventures that are always there no matter how old you are. And I always loved that about libraries. And, you know, I thought about myself, and it's like, you know, I'm kind of a quieter person. 
uh, you know, I can, I'm sure you can tell just based upon these videos that I have a little bit more of a gentler kind of a manner. And I thought to myself, you know, I, I'd like to help people. Um, help people in a one-on-one, -on -one, kind of a comfortable, soothing setting that's not so confrontational like my other um, career choice, my first one. And I just thought that that sounded so, ple not only pleasant, but that it would be a good fit with the types of uh, personality characteristics that I have. And so that's what I decided to do, and I'm so glad that I did. So, you know, when I first became a librarian. I really saw myself as a reference librarian. And I am a reference librarian, to be sure. You know, I really saw myself on the reference desk and, um, you know, helping people find books and the types of sources that they needed and helping them with their research. And certainly I, uh, I do do that. I guess I thought that that would be like the majority of what I would do, and it really isn't. Um, so I'm an academic librarian. I work at a large uh, state university within the State University of New York system. And so I'm working with undergraduates, and mostly. And I'm at the reference desk, certainly, but part of my job responsibilities is teaching. And so this is something that's out of my comfort zone. You know, I've got to be up and in front of people, and that's not a comfortable thing for me, but I've adjusted to it pretty well. I, I even enjoy it sometimes. I really try to put my best foot forward. I don't ever want to bore anybody. I, I always try to keep it kind of personable and interesting and, you know, sort of the way that I write. I, well, at least I hope it's interesting, but, you know, I try to insert personal anecdotes and have a more informal touch to it. And, you know, so far so good. Um, but I was nervous about that. That definitely wasn't something that I was anticipating when I first started studying um, in graduate school uh, to be a librarian. So, you know, it's one of those things that doesn't always turn out the way you plan. And um, there's going to be some changes coming up in the, for the fall of 2016 here. And the curriculum is changing, and so my role as a reference and instruction librarian is changing. And I have been um, asked to do a lot more teaching, which is exciting in some ways. I will still be helping people, um, but it's, it's the out of my comfort zone kind of helping people, so I'm a little nervous about it, definitely. I'll be going from teaching maybe 15 classes a semester to teaching close to 100, and that's a gigantic change, as you can imagine. So I'm, you know, I'm apprehensive, but I'm excited because, you know, it's you don't want to always just be doing the same thing, or you know, you tend to get kind of um, stale. So I think that this will be exciting. I'll be working with a couple of colleagues on making some new lesson plans and some instructional videos, and I think that's going to be great, but I'm definitely nervous. I will truly be a teaching librarian at that point, and um, that'll be a big change in my identity as a librarian, going from really seeing myself as a reference librarian to being an instruction librarian. So. That's what's kind of happening with me. It's on my mind, but um, I'm really trying to see it in a very positive light because it is positive. And I think that it's exciting that I'm being um, kind of uh, tasked to take on this new role and we'll see how it goes. So if you're a librarian, please write in or if you're just interested in libraries and all of that, let me just know your thoughts. Um, in devotion stuff, moving on to a totally different topic, I've been really taking stock of the chaplets that I own because I'm excited about making all of these audio recordings that I spoke about in um, the last video post. And um, I have, I think, seven. And I'm going to try to procure a couple more. Like, um, I learned that there was a John Paul II chaplet, and I'm super excited about learning about that and acquiring the beads, so I'm working on that right now. Um, but I wanted to ask that if you have a chaplet that you would like for me to record um, myself praying so that we could pray together, leave me a comment and let me know uh, what that chaplet is um, so that I can make sure to add it on the list. So I will keep you posted about that and what chaplets I'm kind of planning so that you can, you know, let me know what up is not on that list that you'd like to see. So I'm running long as usual, so I'm gonna wrap this up, but I hope that you're all having a great week. Next week I'm gonna be talking about the conference that I'm going to in a week and a half, and I'm super excited, and about Catholic podcasting, so um, stay tuned. And I will talk to you then, bye.